Hello friends, I'm Barwiz and this is our 18th video in PyQtify 5 GUI development. In this video, we're going to learn that how you can create uh, QList widgets using Qt Designer and also using coding. So first, we're going to create our QList widget class using Qt Designer. So I have already opened my Qt Designer. I'm going to just click, uh, I have chosen widget and I'm going to click on create so this is my simple window now the first thing I need I'm going to add a vertical layout in here and in the vertical layout I want to add a queue list widget so uh, you can find the list widget in here so list widget uh, also I need to add a label in here so let me just add it and right click on the window and choose layout vertically so now and here you can add uh, some items uh, for the list widget uh, using QD designer so first I'm going to add a style for this uh, I'm going to change the text size to 14 bold and I can add also a style sheet for this. We can just target the queue label and we can say color, uh, whatever color you want, for example, red, like this. Uh, now I'm going to remove this uh, the text label because I don't need the, this text in here. I want just an empty label. Okay, now in the list widget, now we need to add items. So in here you can add item, you can just right click and edit items. And after that click on this. So we want to add Python, Java, uh, C++, C Sharp, uh, let me just add JavaScript also with the Kotlin uh, now I'm going to click on the OK so now these are the items that we have added so it's based on index it is zero index first second third uh, fourth and fifth indexes now uh, also you can uh, add uh, color for example if you want to change the color so I'm going to right click so right click on edit items and from here I'm going to add colors oh sorry not from here from uh, change style sheet so and here I can add colors uh, I'm going to target Q list widget and from here I want to add font for my all these widgets so let me first remove this font and I can just click on the font 14 bold now the font is added apply you can see these are the fonts are changed uh, also I want to add a background color so background color and uh, for example uh, you can add a color so or let me just remove this RGB add an, uh, another color so this color okay now now we need to save this uh, save our this UI file uh, save and I'm going to just call it list widget and save it okay after saving we need to copy the file and paste this in the scripts folder because we want to convert our this UI file to Python file and the location of the scripts folder is in your python installation so if you're in pycharm id you can directly find your python installation and after that you can just find python 3.7 scripts 
and you can paste this in here it's because because we are using PyY UIC module for converting of uh, our .ui file to Python file and after this you need to right click uh, right click on PyY UIC module and we need to open in terminal and this is my terminal now in here I can just say PyY UIC 5 and uh, the name of the UI file so it's list widget UI and we can just give list widget dot pi now it's converted and we need to copy the file and if you see in the scripts folder we have a list widget dot UI let me just cut this file and bring this in my Python file in my directory. Uh, so we have. Let me just overwrite this. Okay, now it is. Uh, where is it? So list widget. I think I haven't copied the python file I think I have copied the UI file now let me just uh, uh, yeah you can see that list widget is in here let me just cut this and bring this in here and now I can find this in here so this list widget dot by now this is the converted file and you can see we have all our designs and styles and we can run this so now we can see that this is our design okay now we're going to add some functionality to this and I want when we click on the items in the list widget uh, we want to change the label text with the name of the item so uh, now for this uh, in list widget we can use clicked signal uh, like push button and uh, we need to just create a new method in here I'm going to call it diff item clicked so the first thing you need you need to get the item from the list widget so we can say self dot list widget dot current item so after getting of the current item now we need to add this current item to the label text so we can just say self dot label dot set text and we can say you have selected and we can add our item dot text and we need to convert this to string so str so after creating of this method now we need to connect this with the clicked signal of the uh, list widget so now in here we can say self dot list widget dot clicked dot connect and it is self dot item clicked now we are going to run this so you can see you have selected python java c++ c sharp javascript and kotlin okay now i want to do the same functionality without qt designer and i'm going to create my this application without using the qt designer so for this I have already created a new Python file and this is my Python file it's just a simple window and I have uh, uh, from PyQt5 Qt widgets I have Q application widget Q label and also I need Q VBox layout with Q list widget and uh, if I run this you can see that I have a simple window in here 
now the first thing I need I'm going to just uh, create a method in here I'm going to call it div create list uh, we need to create a QV box layout and in here we need to create the object of the list widget so create object of list widget and we can just say cell dot uh, list widget Q list widget okay now we need to add items to the list widget so add items to the list widget and we can just say solve dot list widget dot insert item and this is python and we need to do the same uh, for some so it's the index index 0 we want python and in index 1 uh, we want java and in the second index we are going to add C++ in the third index we want to add C sharp and one more this is Kotlin so after adding this uh, now you can set uh, so first let me just uh, add this in the viewbox layout so vbox dot add widget and I want to add self dot list widget and I need to set the layout so self dot set layout for the sorry I need to call my method in here uh, create list and at the end we need to say self dot set layout to the VBOX layout. So now you can see that these are my items in the list widget. Uh, now you can also I'm going to add a label in here. Uh, so first I want to change the style sheet of the list widget. Cell dot list widget dot set style sheet and I want the background color to red and cell dot list widget dot set font Q font and I want it should be sans serif and this is fifth uh, the size is 15 uh, now let me just run this okay now you can see the color has changed and also the text size has changed now let's create a label in here so self dot label q label and so for right now I'm going to just say hello uh, I can set the font uh, q font So this is the family of the font or the type and this is the size and we can say self or we can just copy this from here and this is a label so I need to add label in here and you can give a color whatever you want Now we want to add this in the viewbox layout. So viewbox dot add widget self dot label. Now you can see this is our text. Uh, so now I want to add the same functionality when we click on the item. I want to change the uh, text of this uh, label. Uh, let me remove this. Hello and I'm going to copy the the item clicked method from my previous part and I want to paste it in here and I need to change this to list widget now 
now you can connect this so let me copy the clicked or we can just say in here so self dot list widget dot clicked dot connect and I want to add self dot item clicked and you can see Java C++ C sharp Kotlin Python so thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know and if you want the source code you can just check uh, uh, the video description or my blog uh, my website geekscoders.com and you can get the source codes